Have you ever wondered what truly defines intelligence? We often find ourselves entangled in this conundrum, mystified by the complex nature of intelligence. It's a concept that's widely misunderstood, often reduced to mere academic prowess or the ability to crunch numbers like a human calculator. But in reality, intelligence is far from being so one-dimensional. It's a rich tapestry of various attributes, a blend of unique qualities that set us apart from the rest. It's not about who can recite the periodic table fastest or solve algebraic equations in a blink. It's about how you perceive the world, how you interact with it, and how you navigate through the complexities of life. It's about critical thinking, problem solving, adaptability, empathy, and so much more. So let's unravel this enigma together. Let's shatter those misconceptions and explore the true essence of intelligence. Prepare to delve into the realm of intelligence beyond the conventional understanding. The first sign of intelligence we'll explore is curiosity. Picture a young child, eyes wide with wonder, incessantly asking why. Why is the sky blue? Why do birds fly? Why does the moon change shape? This child isn't just being pesky. No, they're demonstrating a fundamental trait of intelligence, curiosity. But let's not confine curiosity to childhood. Take the tale of an adult, a seasoned scientist who still harbors that childlike fascination. Every day, they probe the mysteries of the universe, relentlessly seeking answers. They're not satisfied with surface-level knowledge. They delve deeper, asking why and then why again, peeling back the layers of understanding. So, you see, curiosity isn't limited to a certain age or profession. It's a lifelong pursuit. A thirst for knowledge that transcends boundaries. It's about probing the unknown, challenging the status quo, and pushing the boundaries of understanding. Thus, curiosity isn't just about asking questions, but seeking their answers. Next on our list is adaptability, a trait often overlooked when discussing intelligence. Picture this, if you will. In the heart of a bustling city, a newcomer steps off a train. The city is alien, its streets a labyrinth. However, with each passing day, the newcomer learns. The quickest routes, the local dialect, even the city's quirks. This, my friends, is adaptability in action. It is the ability to adjust to new situations, to learn, unlearn, and relearn. It's about being comfortable with change, about thriving in the face of uncertainty. An intelligent mind, you see, is not rigid. It does not cling to old ways when they no longer serve. It evolves, it adapts, it is flexible. It understands that the only constant in life is change. And in the face of this constant, it learns to dance. Adaptability, therefore, is a testament to the flexibility of an intelligent mind. Let's now turn to a trait not typically associated with intelligence, empathy. Picture a child, we'll call him John. John has an uncanny knack for understanding how others around him are feeling. When his friend loses a football match, John doesn't just offer consolation, he genuinely feels his friend's disappointment. When his mother is overwhelmed with work, he senses her stress and offers to help. This, my friends, is empathy. John's ability to comprehend and share the feelings of others is not just a social skill, it's a sign of intelligence. This understanding of others' emotions forms a significant part of what we call emotional intelligence. It's this emotional intelligence that contributes to John's overall intelligence. It enables him to respond appropriately to situations, to build strong relationships and to navigate the world with a nuanced understanding of human emotion. Empathy, as it turns out, is an emotional manifestation of intelligence. Another sign of intelligence is the ability to critique oneself. Consider the tale of renowned scientist Marie Curie. Her relentless pursuit of knowledge and discovery was perpetually tinged with a critical self-awareness. She often questioned her own theories, scrutinizing them meticulously before presenting them to the world. This self-criticism, this willingness to question and doubt her own work, was not a weakness, but in fact a strength. It was this characteristic that allowed her to refine her ideas, to polish them to a shine, and ultimately to make groundbreaking contributions to science. The intelligent mind is often its own sternest critic. This may seem harsh, but it is this very self-criticism that propels growth, that fuels the quest for knowledge and a better version of oneself. It is a mirror that reflects not just what we are, but what we could become. 
Intelligence, it seems, comes with an innate desire for self-improvement. Humor, believe it or not, is a sign of intelligence. Picture this, you're in a room full of people, the air is filled with chatter, and suddenly someone cracks a witty joke. The room erupts in laughter. That person, who just turned the room upside down with laughter, displayed an act of intelligence. You see, humor isn't just about making people laugh. It's a cognitive function that requires the ability to understand complex ideas, make unexpected connections, and think quickly on your feet. Let's consider wordplay and puns, for instance. They require a deep understanding of language, the ability to manipulate words and meanings, and a swift mind to put it all together. Now, isn't that intelligence in action? And what about sarcasm? It's a higher form of wit, requiring not just linguistic prowess, but also an understanding of social cues and contexts. So next time you find yourself chuckling at a clever jest or a witty play on words, remember, humor is not just for amusement, it's a fascinating display of mental agility and creativity, so a good laugh might just be a sign of a brilliant mind. Open-mindedness, our next sign, is a quintessential attribute of an intelligent mind. Picture, if you will, a master chess player. With each move, they consider not just one, but countless potential outcomes. The capacity to entertain multiple possibilities, to be open to an array of strategies, is what sets them apart in the game. This, my friends, is the essence of open-mindedness. Consider also a renowned scientist. They may have a theory, a hunch, a deeply held belief, but the mark of their intelligence is not in their conviction, but in their willingness to question their own assumptions, to entertain the possibility they might be wrong. This openness to different ideas, perspectives and possibilities is a testament to their intellectual agility. Being open-minded means acknowledging that we don't have all the answers. It means being receptive to different points of view and being willing to change our minds based on new information. Indeed, an intelligent mind is an open one. A healthy dose of skepticism is another sign of intelligence. Let's delve into a tale that beautifully illustrates this. Imagine a young scientist, eager and bright, presented with a groundbreaking theory. It's revolutionary, it's compelling, and it has the potential to change everything. But does our young scientist accept it blindly? Not at all. She questions, she probes, she doubts. She dissects the theory, cross-examines it with existing knowledge, and seeks evidence to back it up. She doesn't take things at face value. Instead, she applies a healthy skepticism, a natural instinct to question. This isn't cynicism or stubbornness, it's a rigorous pursuit of truth. It's an intelligent mind refusing to be swayed by mere eloquence or authority, demanding solid proof instead. This is the essence of skepticism, a crucial attribute of an intelligent mind. Skepticism, then, is intelligence's natural defense against misinformation. Persistence, our penultimate sign, is a testament to the tenacity of an intelligent mind. Picture a scientist tirelessly working through the night, driven by the unquenchable thirst to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Each failed experiment, each dead end, is not a setback, but a stepping stone, a clue, a part of the puzzle. Imagine a writer weaving a complex narrative, pouring her soul onto the page. She faces rejection after rejection, Yet she perseveres, refining her craft, honing her voice until one day her story finds its home. These are the marks of an intelligent mind, a mind that refuses to be deterred by the trials and tribulations that come its way. It's the curiosity, the relentless pursuit of answers, the determination to keep going despite the obstacles that sets these individuals apart. Persistence, then, is the fuel that powers the engine of intelligence. Finally, let's explore intuition, a somewhat mysterious but crucial sign of intelligence. Picture a chess master looking over the board. To an onlooker, it seems as though they're simply staring, yet within moments they move a piece with decisive certainty. This isn't just luck or guesswork, it's intuition at play. It's a sign of an intelligent mind that can assimilate information, make connections and predict outcomes without the need for explicit reasoning. Intuition is not about magic or psychic abilities. It's about quickly processing information at a subconscious level and then acting on it. It's that nagging feeling in your gut when something doesn't add up, or that flash of insight when you suddenly figure out a problem. It's the silent whisper of your mind guiding you when logic and reason might fail you. 
Intuition, then, is intelligence's way of making sense of the world without needing explicit reasoning.